Hi, my name is Wes Koka. I'm a physical therapist out of Freedom Physical Therapy in McQuanago. And one of the things I have a passion for is treating the throwing shoulder. And oftentimes, and unfortunately, they can really get affected with overuse. And overuse is just as little as 30 innings, which of course isn't much for a pitcher when you're at any level that's there. Usually pitchers get overused in every level possible. So one of the things that you can avoid this problem with the rotator cuff muscle is doing some three basic strengthening exercises I can show on this video. The first one is just simply for helping the rotation or rotating upward. Um, so one of the things that we do is there's two muscles that do the rotation going outward. And one of them is you take this big towel roll here, you take it against there. It's very important to keep that there. It's the best way to strengthen it. They show it in studies that, that it activates that muscle the most. So you take it, you take the band, it's tied up to something, or you take your hand and you hold it there. And then you kind of, instead of just, a lot of times I see a lot of um, therapists do this or other, you know, different exercise routines, show just kind of rotating outward. That's actually wrong. You actually want to go about 30 degrees upward. This kind of gives you that extra um, pull on that muscle and it shows it has the most muscle activity for that, as you can see. So you're doing that 10 reps times two sets, okay? Or three sets. Ultimately, you really want to get a good muscle fatigue because one of the biggest problems with pitching is muscular fatigue and they find when you have muscular fatigue, you're more prone to injury and that's the biggest risk for getting injured. So really important to not, not only just do 10, sometimes 15. Feel the muscle burn, feel it go, okay? The other muscle group is simply just getting in that cocking phase. So that's, you know, obviously when you're kind of coming through here, you kind of, you got that arm up like that, right? So one of the things is you want to kind of work on this. This gets a whole nother rotator cuff, it emphasizes another one. Again, 10, 15 reps, two to three sets, getting it to burn. Rotating, making sure that you're not dropping your elbow down. That's really important. If you drop that elbow down, you're not getting the right technique. And in fact, if you get used to dropping that elbow down, it's not the best thing for your form and your forces, your elbow and your shoulder. So you want to get used to being strong there. Then the last one is simply just standing on it and just thumbs up 30 degrees, rotating, bringing it up like that, coming down. You want to do again, 10 reps. Again, this is another one that can get really weak, and this is one of the things that you can see if someone's doing a whole bunch of, extra, uh, of pitching, you'll see that this muscle is super weak. Um, so that's, those are some simple things. Um, in the clinic, I use something called a dynamometer that can really tell me where, if there's a red flag with any of these muscles. This is just a force meter that kind of you push against it, and I can kind of know what's going on with them. So that gives me a really good clue of which one I really got to hone in on. Um, so hopefully if you have any problems at all, come see me. I'd love to treat you.